Hello techies, welcome back to our channel UiPath by Sujita. In this video we are going to learn a basic concept that is how to open a browser in UiPath by Studio. So keeping the freshers, the very beginners in mind, I would like to share this information, uh, easy simple uh, steps in order to open a browser. Okay, There are times where uh, when we are going to automate a, any web application, we are supposed to deal with, we are supposed to interact with the browsers, right? So let us see this concept. So for that, quickly open the UiPath Studio. I hope you, I always suggest you to practice whatever we learn in this these videos. Okay, so quickly open your UiPath Studio and create one sequence so i have created a sequence open browser so just go to activities search for browser so all the available activities which are related to browser will be displayed here out of these you can find use application browser what it says it says opens a desktop application or web browser page to use in your automation. So it is included in uipath.uiautomation.activities package. So just drag and drop this and you could see few properties of this activity and there's a hyperlink saying indicate application to automate. Okay. So why we use this? It will identify the application you would like to automate. If the target is a browser, navigate to the correct web page before you indicate the application. So what it is suggesting is to navigate to the correct web page. So for that, what I'm going to do is I just open, I, I want to open the Google Chrome browser and want to navigate to google.com. Okay. I hope you are doing this along with me. So this is my web page okay so now let us go back to our code and let us click on this so there it, it seems it is giving some exception it is in red color orange color and if you see here what it says cannot communicate with browser click for more information but in the activity what it said when we click that hyperlink we can be able to communicate with the browser right but it says it cannot but for more information you are supposed to click here just let us click this this is the reason behind this exception you need to install or enable the UiPath extension for Chrome yes so it is asking us to install the extension so there are two options continue anyway or install I would like to install just click on install if you want to continue installing the UiPath extension for Chrome, please close all your Chrome process, then click OK. So go back to our browser, just close it away and then click OK. Do this along with me. If I am a bit fast, please pause the video and continue. OK, so yeah, the UiPath extension for Chrome was successfully installed for the current user. You need to enable the browser extension by navigating to this path. OK just click on this okay go back to your chrome and when you click on this you could see the information saying new extension added okay either you can use this or go to extensions manage extensions and you could see the new uh, extension which is uipath browser automation been added here so just enable this okay now quickly close your browser the extensions tab and go back to the code now use this okay let us give a try again now it is in green that means we are success right now we are able to interact with the browser just click the browser anywhere okay so automatically the url been captured Otherwise, you can give the URL if you are confident enough on the URL, but you can give the URL directly here. Okay, just save it and then I would like to search for something in the google.com. So what I'm going to do is go to activities panel and then click for type for search for type into. Okay. 
drag and drop it here okay now again it says indicate in chrome okay just click on this and now in the complete browser i am going to select a specific field which is nothing but the search bar okay see it is extracting the information and then it is asking us to select the anchor okay just click the anchor just confirm it back okay the information been captured now provide the text what you want to search save it okay then i would like to click enter for that i am going to use this keyboard shortcuts now just record and enter enter yeah now let's give a try uh, let us run this fine it has opened the google.com and then typing your path by sujita that's it right it has closed executed but are you comfortable with this automation no right because the screen being minimized right we are unable to see what's happening on the browser okay so for that uh at the beginning of this video i explained you few options right in properties of this activity which activity use application browser activity go to properties there is a, a block called options in that you could see resize window fine there by default it is selected as none when you click on this drop down you could find few options maximize restore to design time size minimize okay so now that we need it to maximize the window once we open this just select maximize option and save okay now let us give one more try so it is opening the browser and maximizing it typing for you ipad by sujita and then clicking on enter but as soon as it clicks on enter when the page loads it is closing the browser have you observed that yes how to avoid that by default as the default property whatever a uh, browser which we used by using this uh, use application browser whatever browser we open it will be closed automatically okay so to stop it just for the debugging purpose or just while you develop there is an option called close select never or if opened by app browser okay as per the requirement just save this and let us run this again I hope you are doing this along with me. Fine. Now we can go back to the browser because it is still open. It has not closed automatically. Fine. Yeah. So based on the uh, purpose, we are supposed to utilize the options and properties available in this activity. so the agenda of this particular video is to let you know how to open a browser using this ui bar chalo meet you through our next videos thank you so much bye bye